right guys uh, i hope you really enjoyed this introductional video so let's uh, recreate this entire scene in uv 5.3 and uh, this will be a lot of fun so first of all go to file new level and into level press create so now you have a complete blank new canvas now here you need to create firstly this environment lighter mixer create light atmospheric light sky atmosphere volumetric cloud and height fog these are the basic things go down turn on this volumetric fog so this is the first step we have done select all make this to a separate folder because this is our light folder now first of all you need to add few contents from megascan which you can access from right here quick cell bridge if you just click this on if you logged in previously you can directly uh, access all the quick cell assets i have already downloaded free which i have entered over here so if you press this static mesh so you can basically check all the static mesh which i have already downloaded from quick cell bridge so now I have select all the maker scan folder so that you can see all the foliages as well. So just go here and you can find this 3D assets. So these are my basic 3D assets which I'm going to use here. So simply drag and drop into your scene. So let's drag and drop and press F to make it fit to screen. So mostly you need to align it with your grid properly. This is the first step. Press F once again. So now you can see it's uh, almost good. Now press E on your keyboard to make it scale up a little bit and let's set a camera first so just this is my basic angle now select this uh, and just drop into here decrease the shape slightly uh, to maintain our scene and now boom this is uh, basic our scene setup now go to level sequence you need to create a new level so just rename it anything which you want then press save and over there you can find this sequence you can simply drag and drop into here now I just want to create a new camera so simply press this camera button so now you can directly jump into the camera now change the camera to DSLR and uh, let's go down you can find this uh, minimum focal length and uh, maximum focal length so make it to 25 by 25 which is a pretty nice wide angle shot and over there you can find this minimum app stop which is 1.2 it's good enough now need to uh, decrease the focus distance so let's decrease the focus to somewhere around this much area is pretty nice and good to go all right so now i have completely done our basic camera setup so whatever we'll do it will completely uh, dry it from here so now let's uh, drag and drop our other assets in the scene to so let's check this out so just decrease the size and uh, move the positions now a little bit increasing the shapes and also something like this. basically you just need to kit bus all the assets with your scene basically i'm doing this entire process a little bit of fast forward because it will take a lot of time to create i hope you guys really understand what i'm trying to do all right so now as you can see our basic scene is done so we need a basically one primitive to make this in more realistic so i have one wooden stick over here so just increase the shape and uh, make a bit of positioning so just rotate it a bit and slightly on somewhere this direction this is basically help you to understand you know the dramatic scene and all and i'm just copying and pasting it over here so now you need to add some foliages to make the scene more realistic so do this all you just need to jump out of this camera so i'm just out from this camera right now so this is my basic scene so now don't have any jungle kind of view over here so let's make this a bit of jungle or like forest kind of thing so first of all you need to add some foliages but before doing adding foliages i just need to turn this everything into a path tracing mode because as you all don't know path tracing is the most realistic lighting environment inside of this unreal engine 5.3 so what you need to do go to lit and just need to turn on this uh, path tracing mode but before doing all just need to check all the assets are not nanite enable i already downloaded all the assets turning off the nanite mode so make sure you need to check all the assets should be turned off the nanite mode so then just need to click this path tracing mode once you click this path tracing mode you can directly see your scene is completely getting changed and a bit of lighting change also you can see so now whatever we'll do it will exactly happening on the path tracing mode and trust me this is the most realistic environmental creation in this unreal engine 5.3 so now let's make this in a little bit of a jungle kind of thing so first of all go to selection mode and over there you can find this foliages and let's add some foliages in our scene so go to this uh, 3d plant 
select few foliages which you really want to add i have few already downloaded simply select it like this and drag and drop into here all the foliages select something like this now go down you can find this many options if you start clicking you can see the foliages are start applying over here so you can do this this way but i suggest just decrease the scale to let's say this is a minimum scale which will be one so let's make it to 0.5 and maximum will be the one also you can change the paint density like how much density you need to paint over here also you can find this radius so mix make it to 10 and now let's start painting by clicking on this foliages on this ground and whatever you will do just make sure do it from right from your camera viewport and let's uh, add few foliages let's make this scene to more realistic and uh, that's it you can see it's already started looking too much real i just want to add more foliages to fill the scene completely all right so once you filled with all the foliages you can see there a little bit of lighting problem so what i'll do control pressing l on your keyboard so let's change the lighting direction a little bit of down and now need to make this scene more realistic with the help of one tree so now go back to a selection mode go to contain browser and let's jump into european bridge over there you can find there's so many trees if you don't want to know how to disable the nanite simply check this nanite box should turn off so now what you need to do let's add one tree on our scene so just simply drag and drop on your scene and let's decrease the size a bit so now you can start seeing some shadows are applying over here now go to sequence and let's view it from here so once you click the camera view, you can directly see now it's feel like uh, this scene is completely inside of a jungle. Now you can directly move the camera positions from here as well. Now simply select the tree and just you can change the positions to check what type of lighting you want from this tree. So in my case, little bit of shadow and little bit of uh, this type of things are pretty, pretty nice. And it's already start looking natural. Control L is a shortcut to change the lighting direction if you want you can change the lighting direction to any time so now you can see it started looking too much real so let's do one camera animation little bit of basic camera animation simply select the camera go to transform select the keyframe go to last frame and first of all decrease the speed because it will directly you know change the entire view so slightly move a yet a camera and uh, slightly on this direction and that's it this is looking really really amazing isn't it guys and now press one keyframe over here now go back and you can check your basic camera animation now select this two right click and make it to linear and now you can see it started looking too much real now if you notice there is no movement of the trees once you click the trees it started moving but once you don't click this it's not moving this is basically happening on the ray tracing so what you really need to do go to all content and you need to type something over here type bp and you can find uh, this option bp global foliage actor simply drag and drop no matter where it is exactly and now basically it will help you to simulate the winds but still if you notice there is no simulations over here so you need to change one more settings over here so you need to do just simply select all the foliages and simply type evaluate and you can find this option called evaluate world position and ray tracing so just simply turn this off and turn this back once again and now you can see the all the foliages are start moving with your scene so this is basically happened for the ray tracing and right after that you need to render it out so first of all select this render button and you can find this called unsafe configuration simply turn this on delete this jpeg and this one you need to do this anti-aliasing make it to 16 or 12 i'm making it 12 only and you can increase it by your own simply check this box on also need to render it on exr and make sure you need to turn this camera and uh, frame close render all frames and after that need to high resolution also need to add one more option which is called path tracing because we all know about path tracing we need the render should be in path tracing and after that press accept and once you're happy with the render settings simply press this render local and uh, after that you can see this type of amazing renders in front of you and hopefully this video will help you a lot subscribe to this channel for more videos my name is rajat see you very soon till then bye bye